Bonjour, bonjour, we are back. All right, how to create a countdown timer on your Shopify store to create some urgency just like this right here. Let's go to the steps, pretty easy, so follow me. Step number one is you're gonna go to your online store right here. Once you are on there, make sure to, number two, duplicate the theme you want to be working on. So there we go, let's duplicate this. And we're gonna be working on the duplicate. That way if I make a mistake in the code, I don't mess up my original code, I can just remove the duplicate and start from zero. If you work on your live theme and you make a mistake, you're screwed, you have to call me. So make sure you work on a duplicate because if you call me, it's gonna be expensive. Um, all right, once the duplicate is created right here, you're going to click Actions. And then you're going to say, we're going to edit the code. So welcome to the theme editor. After that, we're going to go to snippets all the way down here, right there. And we're going to say, add a new snippet. I'm going to name my new snippet countdown timer right there. I copy pasted it. There you go. Countdown dash timer, write it exactly like that. Don't change it. Don't put a, uh, a, a space at the end, don't put a big a capital C or anything, just exactly like this, countdown timer, and you create the snippet. So we're gonna be pasting some code right here. We're gonna do command V, and there we go. And so you're going to be pasting this entire block of code. Now, you don't have to pause the video. I'm going to tell you exactly where you can get this code after at the end of the video, so you don't have to like rewrite it. I'm going to show you exactly where you can get it. But in the meantime, let's continue and we're going to press save. In case you're interested, a snippet is a piece of code that you can reuse on different parts of your website. It's a code snippet. So now we created the countdown timer as a code snippet and we can kind of put it wherever we want to on our website. So this is where we come to the fork in the road because you have two options. Either you say, hey, I'm just going to put this on all of my product pages that's it, that's all. Or you say, hey, I just want to add this on specific product pages, not on all of my product pages. So first I'm going to address the one where it's on all the product pages. For that, it's pretty simple. You're going to go to the sections right here and you're going to be looking for product-template. Um, right here, boom. All right, so this is your product page template. This is the code of your product page. And so now you decide where you want that countdown timer to appear. And it's kind of up to you. So I'm going to give you another piece of code that you can kind of paste wherever you want to a certain extent. You're going to have to A-B test it a bit if you're not familiar with code. But let's say, pop, 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 pop. I want it under the button. So let's do command F, B, T, N. It's going to look for the button. Here, this is a button, thumbnail slider. Do we have another button? Um, maybe if we look for the ads. Here we go, type submit, name ads. This is the add to cart button right here. That's the entire code for the art add to cart button. So I'm gonna put it right uh, on the payment section. Actually, let me put it here. Command paste. Include the countdown timer. Now I want to change the date here. Let's say 2022. And then I even want to do a little bit of commenting. Countdown timer code start. Like that. Whenever you see something gray, it is just commented, is not actual code. That way, when another dev walks in here, they understand what this is. Up, and we do some spacing. Spacings don't matter in code, so you can put as many spaces as you want. There you go, and we can save that. So now we're going to have our countdown timer on all the templates. Don't believe me? Let's take a look. Um, we do actions, we do preview. Again, this is not your live version because we're working on a duplicate. Special offer ends in 471 days, seven hours and 19 minutes. Okay, cool. 
But what if I don't want it on all of the products? No problem, just follow me along here. First, we'll remove uh, it from the product template. So we go to sections. My computer is having a hard time here. There we go, it is still open on the product template. We find the countdown timer. Timer, no, that's not what I want. Command F, timer here. And I remove all of this, I save it. Okay, so now it is removed from all of the product pages. And so let's just add it to one specific product page. So we're going to be adding a new section right here. Click add a new section. How are we going to call it? We're going to call it product-template-countdown. No caps, no spaces in the back, pretty clear create the section. There we go, we have a new section, some code that was pre-generated for us. We're gonna remove all of this code because we don't need it. And then we're gonna go back to product templates. So the product template section uh, right here, or in my case, the tab was still open. I'm gonna command A on Mac to select everything or control A, I believe on Windows. And then I'm gonna copy all of this code, copy, and I'm gonna put it in our new um, section that we have just created. So, paste. All right, so basically what we did is we already had a product template that was everywhere, the regular product template that you use. Now we duplicated that product template and we're gonna add the uh, timer code in the second product template. And that way, when you create a new product, you can choose which template, should it be the product with, without a timer, which is the old template, or the new template with a timer. Show you how to do that. But first, in our new product template, well, we gotta put our timer. So add that little timer snippet that we had earlier. Uh, button, this is our add to cart button right here. So I think I put it here last time. Let's put it back. Again, at the end of the video, I will tell you where to find all the code. Just a moment, please. And then we comment. Uh, start timer. There you go. That way, again, if another dev walks in here, they know what they're looking at. Make it a little bit prettier. There we go. And then the end date of the timer. Again, let's do uh, November uh, 26th, because that's my birthday, 2025. There you go. Safe, great. And there's just one little thing left to do, well, two little things left to do in case you want it on just specific products, is we gotta add a new template as well, right here. So add a new template. We're gonna choose a product template right here. We're gonna do a liquid type. And so we have to name it, obviously. We're going to name it product-countdown-template. We're going to create that template. It was successfully created. And then we need to find one particular line in here. So we do Command F on a Mac, Control F on a Windows, and we paste that specific line. Sections product template right here. It's highlighted. In my case, it's line number five, but it could be completely different for you. I just need that specific line. And we exchange it by the referring to the new template that we just built right here. So there we go, save. All right, so now everything's working, but um, you have to put your store online live to see this version. So we go uh, publish, try to do it when you're not too busy, not, at a, not on Black Friday, that's where I'm getting at. So okay, our version is live now. We go to products and then we can assign different products, the black litter bag, for example, we're going to give the black litter bag a countdown. Uh, pop, 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 pop. We go to uh, templates, 
right here, product countdown template. We save it and we preview it. And you're going to see only the black letter bag will have the countdown timer. Uh, but if I go to another product, like you see here, but if I go to another product, you will not have the countdown timer. Let's look at the yellow wool jumper. No countdown timer and no countdown timer. So I hope that makes sense. If you follow the link down below, you'll be on the Ecom Experts blog. There you have all of the codes that I just copied and pasted. You can just follow there again. So it's going to be really easy for you. Everything's pretty straightforward at this point. Have fun with your new countdown timers and see you in the next video. Ciao.